In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Easy Press Mini to apply some iron on to some bibs. We'll get started by applying some iron on to a standard grip cutting mat. Make sure you mirror your image in Design Space and you put your iron on face down onto the mat. Then we'll remove the iron on from the mat and begin to weed. I'm using a weeder tool here to remove the excess iron on from around the design and also inside of the designs. Just make sure that you go slow and take your time during this process. To use the Easy Press Mini, you just need a couple materials. You'll obviously need the mini, and then you'll need a mat, and then you'll need iron on or heat transfer vinyl. So to preheat your Easy Press, I already have mine on, but you just Hit the button so this is going to start it over based on um, the material we're using which is cotton and the everyday iron on vinyl Cricut recommends the medium setting for 25 seconds so working with this is super simple all we're going to do is to preheat the area where we're going to transfer the iron on to for about five seconds this is just going to remove any moisture that's in the material. Then we're going to place the iron on. I'm gonna try and center him. You can use a tape measure if you want. Most often, I just try and eyeball it. So place him on. And then it says to transfer for 25 seconds. All right, so I have set the timer on my Apple Watch. And then all we're going to do is move the mini back and forth, making sure to cover the entire design. You'll want constant movement and light pressure. And again, I've gotten all this information from Cricut's heat guide website. I will include that link below. So definitely go check that out. It'll give you all the times and temperatures and any other directions you may need. All right, so now it says the timer is done. So now I'm going to flip this over. We're gonna preheat the back for about 15 seconds. And I'm just gonna count this in my head. I always have the best success with projects when I have preheated the front of the material and then at the end heated the back. So that should be good. Now I'll flip it back over. I'm just gonna let it cool for a couple seconds and then we're going to do a warm peel. All right, so this one has cooled down a little bit. So now we are just going to remove the transfer sheet or the carrier sheet. And when I'm doing this, I really like to apply pressure back here and kind of pull down as you're pulling this way. And it should come off just as easy as this. If it hasn't, you'll want to go back with your Easy Press, apply a little more heat, and then flip it, and then do the same thing from the back. But there we are, perfect transfer. All right, so the next bib, we're just gonna follow the same exact steps. I've already pre-cut my iron on. I have two different colors, so I'm gonna do them one at a time. Same setting, we'll have it on medium and for 25 seconds. And like we did last time, we're gonna preheat the area that we are going to apply the iron on to. And one thing that I love about the Easy Press Mini is this pointed tip. So I'm actually going to put my design right up against this seam here. Um, and I wouldn't really be able to get my regular Easy Press in, if you can see. So the Easy Press Mini is great for that. It can get right up against it. Okay, so now that it's preheated, I'm going to apply the design. Make sure it's straight or wherever you want yours. So we are going to use the same heat settings as we did last time. So again, it's the medium setting on the mini and we are going to do light pressure and constant movement for 25 seconds. You can count in your head if you want to. I actually like to use my Apple watch to count down. And again, if you can see, I'm really getting in in this seam here or up against the seam, I should say. So we're just, I'm just moving it around, making sure to get all of the iron on, just applying a little bit of pressure. I'll get so down here too. All right, timer's done. And now we're gonna flip it and heat it from the back. Just need to heat it in the area that you just pressed. And we're just gonna do it for maybe about 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. We're gonna let it cool down just for a couple seconds and then we'll do a warm peel. All right, so this one has cooled down a little bit. So we are gonna remove the carrier sheet. Just like the last one too, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure, or not pressure, but I'm pulling a little bit down here as I pull away from this side up here. 
I like to go nice and slow. And there it is. So as you can tell on the left side here, that goes up perfectly against this seam. And it's all thanks to the little pointy tip. So I'm super excited about the mini for reasons like that. And it just makes projects like this way easier to use. Um, so I'm super thrilled about it. Okay, so now we are going to apply the last bit of the iron-on, Mama's Little Man. Um, and before I preheat, I wanted to let you know, be really careful when you're doing different layers or different, um, you're applying iron-on on different areas because if you touch an iron or the mini to this part that's already been transferred, it will melt it. So to avoid that, either just don't go near the area or you can apply the carrier sheet that we peeled off of it and you can apply it back Back on and that's actually what I'm gonna do just to be safe then if the easy press mini touches the carrier sheet it's going to be okay but since I'm applying the mama's little man in this area I'm just gonna cut the carrier sheet um, a little bit so that I can still apply the mama's little man reapplying the carrier sheet is just a precautionary thing so we just don't want to ruin this that would be a big bummer all right so now let's preheat I still would do your best to avoid getting on this iron on here, but the carrier sheets over it, you should be okay. So now I'm gonna set my timer for 25 seconds and we'll get pressing. All right, timer's done. So now let's flip this over and we'll heat it from the back. So again, gonna let this one cool and you can remove this carrier sheet. I just want it to be warm. All right, there you have it. The Easy Press Mini was perfect for this project and being able to get in up against the seam here and really just being able to work in a small space. This Easy Press Mini was perfect for the job. And that's it. The Easy Press Mini is a great tool to have in your craft room. I've included a link in the description below with some free files for you to upload to Design Space so that you can make some bibs too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to our channel for more Cricut videos. Thanks for watching.